at SHOT Show, I came across a new company to me, Swamp Fox. And they make some nice looking optics and I was really interested in testing them out after talking to them. Now they have some of my favorite features. They sound tough as nails, they're totally into, I could torture test them and the price is right. Let's just see how tough they are and how they perform. Check this out. Oscar up. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, Swamp Fox's Liberator II is the perfect red dot for shotguns and rifles. Now, I actually needed a solid red dot for my 590A1, and this looks like it fits the bill perfectly. Now, I always like to run through the specs and tech and an up close before shooting. The features that I specifically want to point out with Liberator 2 is the shake away. I'll show you the green dot here. When there is no movement for four minutes, it'll go into sleep mode. Any kind of movement, it powers back on. It doesn't have an absolute uh, power off mode. So, you know, eight hours, 10 hours or anything like that. It doesn't shut off and then you have to press a button. So that's hardwired in. Four minutes, goes to sleep, movement comes back on. We'll test that, we'll wait four minutes. Okay, so it's four minutes, it went off. We're just gonna give it a little tap. A little movement, okay, maybe a little more than a tap. There we go, and it popped back on. Some are more sensitive than others. This one just needed a little bit of side movement. Just an up close of the Swamp Fox on my Mossberg 590, you've got the lens covers there. I'm going to show you. We'll go outside. We'll put it up on the bench so you can look through and see what the dot looks like. We've got the covers for the turrets for elevation and windage. They do have, which is nice, the little almost like, you know, screwdriver part so that you can take these off. They've got a little rubber gasket down here underneath. We did, are going to check that for waterproof and then that will just fit in there and you can do your adjustments. And that's always awesome. I like that, you know, when they do Allen wrenches and stuff, that just really sucks if you're out in the field because you may not have something to adjust it. As far as audible, palpable, um, you know, there is, it is audible. It's not the most crisp and clean. It doesn't just click right into place. As it passes, you can hear it click. Me personally, I really can't per se feel the click, um, not like it's it, it's locking into place, you know, and that's that's not a huge thing. Battery compartment goes is right here, and we'll twist that off, and we put in the battery. And again, that seems like it's pretty well sealed. We'll test that when we do the submersion test. Okay, and then on the other side, we just simply have down and up. Control the brightness. Okay, it does have the shake awake, so you know once we've got it on and programmed, really don't have to mess with turning it on or off. Otherwise, you just press and hold for three seconds. It does come with a riser that you can see through. I did take this off because I don't have the ability to do the ghost rings on the back, and I just simply wanted this as close to the bore axis as possible, but it does come with a riser. It's a nice solid riser. Okay, just show you real quick at 50 yards. Yeah. Okay, it's a nice crisp, clean dot. Now, as far as the FOV, the field of view, okay, it's not going to be as big as some of the red dots. If that's a problem, okay, if you want, you know, a really wide field of view, this may not be the one. If it Looks great. Let's just test it out on this Mossberg 590. I'm also testing a Crimson Trace LS250 
green laser here. Uh, I bore sighted both of these for using buckshot. After that, I want to shoot some clay with it. Okay, real quick for this review, I've got some buckshot rounds here. I want to give these a go. Let's just try at some varying distances using just this red dot. Try down there at 50. Okay, so no issues at 50 or 25. What I wanna do now is if the wind dies down, may have to do it on a different day. I wanna go out, I've got a clay or skeet thrower and I wanna to try to shoot some clay with this. Then we're gonna take it off and we're gonna to torture test it and put it right back on. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Costs you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. I was told this is really tough, so I'm going to give it some extra height here. We're going to get up above 20 feet. We're going to toss her up. Oh, onto the concrete. That was a good I one. I it straight out in front of me. That's about 15, 17 feet. I tossed it up above the roof line. That's a good 20 feet at least. Yeah, got a little dirty. Still got our green dot in there. Right, let's toss her in the freezer. Let's thaw it out, put it right back on, and go back to the range and see how it does. Yeah, I've been waiting five days with Nebraska wind and weather to find some time that I can finish this review. I'm going to wing it. I still got a little wind, but hopefully it's low enough that we can do this anyway. The Swamp Fox here, the Liberator 2, took it off, torture tested it, got it back on, and have been very impatiently waiting. We're going to give it a shot now. I've got some traps set up. And what I want to do is it was zeroed, bore sighted. It should be good to go. Um, quick note, I was having some trouble with the buckshot. Um, you know, I didn't show necessarily all of it, but it was having some feeding issues. I've got some uh, federal just skeet shot, and I've never had problems with this before anyway. We'll just double check and make sure that's going. Anyway, let's see if we can hit some trap here. And nice thing is, I've got my handy dandy, and I did a review on this, so I can work the whole thing by myself. I just put my foot up there, and I push down, and it flings it, so let's give that a go and see how this works.
there we go guys i think the liberator 2 is working just fine torture tested put it back on and not my best trap shooting ever but you know like i said i'm doing it myself a little out of practice and there we go there you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, guys, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Every time you're out shooting, remember you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment and be a safe and responsible gun owner.